What I see happening on Earth is just increasing numbers of people and resource use. We've altered a wide variety of environmental systems. We change water flux to the oceans, we change sediment moving out to the oceans, we've dramatically changed the nitrogen and carbon cycles, and then there's the one that most people are familiar with, atmospheric warming and climate change. Some fairly difficult questions at every scale you want to think about, from global to local. You know, how do the oceans work? How does the land work? How does the atmosphere function? What makes weather? And there's a very broad spectrum of approaches to understanding the environment that needs to be somehow bridged in some intelligent way. One of the most compelling trends in earth sciences, or in natural sciences in general, is working across disciplinary boundaries. We need to have ways to communicate between those so that we would actually have articles and reports of various links that bridge these things. Book type projects that provide a solid nail things down synthesis on an area. Environmental historians who can give some idea of how we got to where we are, where these ideas come from. Another I think is meeting some of the challenges of maintaining societal relevance. There's a lot of people in the public that would like to better understand what's happening. Encyclopedias have got to have been built for the electronic age. It kind of puts a lot of people that deserve to be on an equal footing on an equal footing. It also allows you to have a feel that's in an evolutionary state evolve. I think of environmental science. I think of everything from what some people might call true sciences to environmental philosophy, environmental economics, environmental history, environmental sociology. So I hope that eventually we just incorporate everything.